Welcome, Matis back again. Now I'm heading out on my third week in a row. Hey, brilliant weather, very nice view, and the weather forecast looks okay. för då slipper ni sömn. Skoteleden går på andra sidan. Här har vi faktiskt fått en Wolverine track. Du kan se att det är grupper av tre, 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 tre. Så det här är Wolverine. Järven svensk och gul och gul och latin. Now we had a coffee break and we are crossing Petzara now. Today we have a quite short distance to drive. So when you do camping trips like we with the dog team you need a lot of water and it takes a lot of time and energy for you if you get this water. Uh, I usually don't bring ice drills, that's an option. I usually just try to find open water, digging a hole in the creek or something. And I know a lot of places in the area where it's always water, also high up in the mountains. You can almost always find some water. So this small creek comes from the lake up there and go down to next lake. And it's super good water. So now it's time for going to bed today. I brought a small cute Fenya inside the smiling dog. Hey Fenya. Hey Fenya. This week Fenya is in my team. She's so cute. Very very nice. 
when you recognize her, when you talk with her, she actually pulls up and starts smiling. She's really, really cute and very, very handsome. She always want to be close to you. And she's the daughter of Rambo. Yeah. Yeah, now I have to fill up one bottle with hot water and then time to go to bed. See you tomorrow. Ciao. It's a new day and we just had breakfast in the tent. And the breakfast is tea, coffee, sandwiches, and we also had some left over from yesterday. For cooking, we use two of these gas stoves, gasoline stove, fuel stoves. And now it's not on super speed, but I will push up the pressure in the bottles and I will hurry up to fill up the water pack my sleeping bag and then we are ready to go or more or less I'm always the slowest one in the group I don't know why I'm the slowest guide in this area probably <laughs> when I talk about thick underwear I talk about this this is very good underwear Wool and everybody talk about how many gram and I have no idea but this is this is some real stuff Fenya don't want to go out from the tent, so I can't pack my stuff. Fenya, you can't stay here, no? We had to go. We had to go. I had to bring her outside. Det är de här Om jag ger oss det, alltså det som ni har Som en tälte Det går till och med om So we have started out a new day from the camp and right now it's total different weather as you see. Not the blue sky, today we have low clouds, a little bit snow in the air, kind of grey, quite warm actually, almost around zero. So the snow that you get on your jacket and you get everywhere, it's almost melting so it's really warm today right here we're going from one lake along a small river it's a very beautiful landscape in the, 
between the trees I can see where the trail goes. It was snowing and a little bit blowing tonight, but not much. But enough to cover up the trail. So soon we are out on Petsaure and there we should see if we find the old snowmobile trail. The dog usually go exactly on the same trail as we came because we were driving in the same way as we're going out now from this valley. Today we're aiming for CTR cabin. If you believe that you should be a super macho person to work like this, that's not true. I usually say I'm one of the most scared guys in Swedish Lapland. And a lot of my colleagues who also work as guides like this out here, they have a lot of respect for snowstorm, avalanches, bad ices. There is a risk. And you had to know that there is a risk and you had to be able to calculate the risk. So this weather, when everything is gray, if you have hard wind in combination with this and with the uh, soft snow, then it's so easy to lose uh, visibility very quickly. It's totally different if you have hard snow, blue sky and hard wind. Then you can push the limits much, much more. So when you talk about snowstorm, it's not only meter per second. It's so much else you had to add into that uh, uh, calculation. So now we have arrived to CTR cabin. The dogs are resting and searching for old dog food from the last time. And we take all equipment into the cabin that we need and leave something out in the sled. Now it's time for fika, tea or coffee. It's a new day in the mountains and I've been sleeping really really good. Now it's time to fill up the stove with more firewood, put some tea water on the stove. Uh, it has been a super cold night. 
minus 23, also 23 below zero, it's right now, and the sun is up since a while, so probably 25 below zero. And then time for breakfast and packing the stuff. It's It had been nice to be in the cabin one night and drying out some sleeping bags and so on. In the shadow of the cabin it's 23 below zero and here on this side it's already 19 so very soon it will be 5-10 degrees below zero only. So now it's time for breakfast and you can see Homie down there on his back. Martin is already out visiting the dogs. And this flag is from the Swedish Tourist Association that maintains the cabin and mountain lodge. Now, breakfast. Come there. Now we heading towards Akte cabin. We have a 40 kilometer run today because we're not we're not doing the shortest way to Akte. We're going around as usually. Today you can see into Sito Sito Yaure Valley into the west and into Sarek over there. It's really really beautiful. The dogs are super eager. It's also very good working temperature for them. And yeah. They behaved really good today in the morning during the start. Until I was losing my snow hook in the front of the team. Then they started making noise. Now we've been driving with the dogs from the birch forest and that's around 650 meters I think the cabin is 600 something, 630 meters or something. Now we are in a lower terrain and you can see that we start having spruces around us, needle forest. And soon we also will have the pine trees. I really like this stretch. I said that before in other videos. When you follow the Sito River Valley from the high birch forest up in Sito Yaure all the way down to the pine tree forest. Very very beautiful. A little bit downhill mostly. And usually very good trail. Very nice. And when we come lower and lower, the spruce trees get bigger and bigger. And now when we are down in the needle forest, as usually, 
We will stay with my own pine tree, Matti's pine tree. I have a fireplace there since last week, so we will make fire and we will barbecue sausage, bacon and we will make coffee! Of course, coffee. Always coffee. <laughs> Så jag hade tre skap så efter eh, klorna på underarmen. <laughs> ja. Titta! Titta! <laughs> ja, jag får fan det tog det. Fantastiskt! Vad roligt va? Ja. Nu kommer handen. Hej lilla vän. Hej min vän. Hej vad fin du var. Ja. <laughs> vad härligt. Ja. Jag har till och med satt kvar en stund där man kunde prata med henne. Ja. Mm -hmm. Eller här. Ja, det är svårt. Det är fan. Det är fan som hon glömde ut innan. Oj! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> den fick jag inte. Du fick fan inte den? Nej. Han satt på mitt finger i en bråk. Jag trodde det var mat här på kameran. Ja, det var en finger som stack upp lite. Vi har bara stoppat ner i the forest och hade en väldigt nice lunch break. Och när vi stoppade där fick vi en liten Siberian Jay som kom by. Och lade skrika. De är supernice birds. Och denna gången det var väldigt, väldigt close till oss. Nu är vi aiming för Akse, in till den lägre delen av... Det är faktiskt inte Rapa Valley, men det är en extended valley från Rapa Valley. Och vi är utanför Sarek National Park still, men... Ja. Akse, här vi kommer. Hehehe. We arrived to Akte again. Now it's time for work. This is the water hole for the cabin. It's a little bit distance to go. You fill up the cans and then you pull the cans. So you don't need to carry the water actually. Ja, säkert. Ja. Ja. Och sen åkte vi vidare i, ja. snö, i massa snö och vind. Nej, det kommer inte. Ja, man såg inte mycket när Nej. vi åkte ner. Nej. Now we are the tree line and it's a kind of view but it's not clear 
guy and I start getting very tired. We have a problem now. They promise wind speed tonight that will be over 20, 25, almost 30 meters per second. 33 meter per second is actually almost 100 km per hour. That's hard wind. So what we're doing right now is that we're aiming to go from Akce to C to Yaur. That's a very, very short distance. And we see if we, yeah, we'll see what we're doing, but not long distance today. Tomorrow it will be hard wind until lunch, maybe. And then it will be a gap for four, five, six hours, something. And then we have an opportunity to cross over to Salta Lukta, maybe. But we shouldn't be in Salta Lukta until the day after tomorrow, on Sunday. So I don't really know. Now we are down in the birch forest again and shit it's cold here or at least I'm cold. So now when I'm driving here suddenly it's like a wall with super cold air coming straight towards me. Then a little bit later it's warm again. And then you go for a while and then it's super cold again. So that have happened now two, three times. It's no wind, a little bit blue sky, no clouds. Hmm. I was crossing this lake more or less exactly at the same trail, but it was foggy and I couldn't see if I was aiming into the middle of the lake or if I was following the shore. Now it's a little bit different. But now they, because they promised this bad weather, but it's really, really calm now. In Sweden we talk the calm before the storm. Lugnet för stormen, the calm before the storm. Now it's a feeling that it is like that. I don't know. We're we making a detour up along the lake. We have passed by the cabin. It's on the other side of the lake there. And now we make a detour up. Just look around. Then going back to the cabin and dig down the dogs. and prepare for the storm. So the weather forecast is quite hard weather and right now no wind but it's cloudy and it starts snowing. Eight o'clock tonight they promise that the winds should start increasing. So right now we're digging holes for the dogs so they can choose to get down in wind protection. It will be drifting snow, it will be warm and tonight I avoid to put dog jackets on because if it blow in snow under the jacket then it melts and it's not good. So tonight we dig holes, no jackets, most of them have eaten good and then we prepared for the storm. The holes I make are not super deep uh, they are flat in the bottom and quite big for one dog or two dogs. Uh, I don't build a windshield because behind the windshield it collects snow, drifting snow. So I dig a hole and the drifting snow will go over. Hey Duffy, how do you find the big? Hey Duffy, now I have to make for Fenya.
de partage, il va de qui tu es. Before I go to bed in a cabin like this, I always check so the gas is switched off. I put some extra logs in the fire and I close the air into the fire because it's glowing more and stay longer during the night. Check so all the candles are out because you don't want to have a cabin fire. So. If you look at the chimney, it's smoking up there, and the smoke go to the west. And the promised storm should come from the west. So right now it's a little bit strange, and the storm should have been here already. But when I listen, I don't know if you can hear it, if I stand really still and try to You hear the wind up here in the mountain, higher up in the valley, up into the west, listen. It is like a, a rapid is up there. I also want to take a look at the dogs, so they are okay, but I don't want to disturb them. And Tonight I'm going to bring Ira into the cabin. She's a nine-year-old dog. <laughs> Ira is already in the cabin. Five minutes ago I was out, no wind almost, and I brought Ira inside. And now it's kind of windy here, and it's definitely coming from the west. And it increased fast now. The dogs are covered, and we are a little bit hidden here because it's a half island going out there. So most of the hard wind will go on the other side of the lake and yeah, it's a good place. But I don't like snowstorms. Time for the bed. Good night. So you can see that it has been drifting snow and you can see that it's been a little bit rough weather tonight, but not super bad. You can still see on the other side of the lake that the wind continue pushing in the west. And over there. And you can see on the high clouds that it's still windy up there. But it looks like a nice day. Now I will 
check the weather forecast and go to the toilet. Then time for breakfast. It's just over six o'clock. All the holes are gone and like here Semlan has some snow in her fur. That goes away quite quickly then. There are very very nice fur so it falls off. Hey Fizan! Hey Fizan! Everybody's done with that! Everybody's done with that! Yo, Veretta! Hey Semlan! Hey Semlan! Hey Semlan! Yo! Hey Fizan! Hey! Yeah. But it seems okay. Hey Jose! Hey Jose! Hey Jose! Hey son, I've been there. Kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it. How do I do it? Luckily, it was not so much drifting snow and it was quite warm. Now, when I look at the weather forecast, it seems like we have a window of three to five, six hours when we don't have hard winds and then it will start all over again and tomorrow it's windy the whole day again so we had to leave the mountains up here and go down to Saltalukta mountain lodge and stay there the last night and then probably make a day tour from there tomorrow Because you don't want to do this part from here to Saltalukta if it's really bad. Now it's clearing up there, but you can still see some of the lens clouds. It's still hard wind up there and over there. So we are packing up, harnessing the dog and take off. And hopefully we are over the mountain before next storm is arriving. This is a kind of open landscape and when it's hard wind there is nothing to hide behind. Yeah, you have some, some um, uh, small uh, creeks where you can go down behind some small hills and so on. But it's actually quite open landscape here. I've been here in bad weather. That's not my favorite experience.
we solving the problems in the world, eating marabou and drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're quite close to Saltalukta Mountain Lodge, but over there in the west we can see that the weather starts changing. There is probably low clouds coming in and uh, I think it starts snowing over there. I can't hear any wind, I can't feel any wind, so the wind is not here right now. The wind will come later. But we'll see. Anyway, it, you can really see that something is changing over there. Until now we had a really nice tour today. Actually, brilliant weather. Yeah, it starts snowing now. Suddenly the wind increased and now we just have to go over the ridge and down to Saltalukta. So we just have four or five kilometers left. But the weather has changed really really quickly here. I'm quite happy for the decision right now that we went down to Saltulukta instead of staying up there because tomorrow I think will be quite rough weather. Now it's evening in Saltulukta and the wind increase and there is some drifting snow. I'm quite happy that we are here actually. That we don't need to cross the mountain tomorrow. So, it's a new day and the dogs are fine. It's still some wind and drifting snow, but it have been a hell of a weather last night. Now it's time for some breakfast and taking care of the dogs, and then we're going to make a day tour from here with with the sleds down along the river, probably. But the wind will increase. I want to say thank you to Karen who followed on the third tour. It was nice to meet you again. And then I want to say thank you to Martin, Chell and Camilla who joined for the first time. Nice to meet you and I hope I see you again. And to all of you who watched this video, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing, giving thumbs up, leaving a comment or whatever. I will make con more content from my lifestyle out here in the white or during the summer. So stay tuned, you will see more. Ciao!